The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 212 pounds, X-Pac. Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up and ready to go. I think it's fair to say that the athleticism on display in this match will be unlike anything we've seen in quite some time. And approaching the ring, representing the Hart Foundation, from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 227 pounds, Brian Pillman. Whenever this superstar enters the arena, the atmosphere turns truly electric. Steel City is showing its appreciation for this great match we're about to see here tonight. Oftentimes in our business, the only way for personal issues to be ultimately resolved is two superstars enter the squared circle and go one-on-one -on -one in a good old-fashioned wrestling match. Oh, God. That was hitting the nail right on the head. If he takes many more of those, he's going to get lit up like a Christmas tree. Tell us your thoughts about Brian Pillman here. Definitely looking confident in this one-on-one -on -one environment. We're going to find out who's the better competitor, that's for sure. No gimmicks here, just some good old-fashioned one-on-one action. He's simply reminding him that he's here. Brian Pillman going for it, working for control. Squeezing down on the head. Scary thing about facing Brian Pillman is that here's the and a kick out. Uh, the kick out's all that's saving. This match goes on. Uh, it looks like there's some left in Pillman's tank. Look at these two giving it their all. There's absolutely no quit in them tonight. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. No, oh, wait, nice reverse. What a shot! Cole, what's he got in mind? This could be big. Oh, that'll knock the wind out of you. And there's the reversal from Brian Pillman. I'd agree, King. With such a deep arsenal of moves, it has to be scary to face Brian Pillman. And even worse, that spinning wheel kick oftentimes comes out of nowhere. There's just no defending it. Yeah, it's the threat of those knife edge chops that would freak me out the most. Those things will leave your chest stinging for a week. I hate those. Absolutely relentless here. Not today, too fast. Just toying with the competition a little. Back between the ropes. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. 
Brian Pillman seizes the opportunity. Okay, has there ever been a bigger underdog turned legitimate force than X-Pac? Well, if there is, I haven't seen him. I was never so shocked to see him beat Razor Ramon in 1993. But it was that win that put him on the map, and he's been there ever since. Not going to win many matches with that move. What a powerful slam! Wait! Is he still conscious? Man, that looked bad. Going for the cover. And he escapes with a kick out. I thought that was it. Oh, he looks like he's in no man's land here. He needs to be able to put things back together here. Michael, this is a dangerous position to be in. He needs to be able to find a way to clear the cobwebs and regroup. Not only has X-Pac been on the map since 1993, but I think people forget just how important a role he played in the Monday Night War. He's sending a message to the entire W. Watch out! Oh, I think this man means business. with a nice reversal. Brian Pillman reverses it. When this guy's on, look out. Much more of that, and he's not going to last long. Cole, you're right about X-Pac's role in the Monday Night War. First, he was a major member of the NWO, then jump great reversal. Pillman being set up for something here. Unleashing it for the second time now. We're going to see a lot of effective moves like that in this match. We're looking at... Oh, nice counter. X-Pac reverses it. No breathing room here for Brian Pillman. He's really taking over this match now. Between his stints as a professional football player and his time spent in WCW, ECW, and WWE, Brian Pillman would have to be considered among the most accomplished athletes we've seen in a long time. He is certainly a natural, Michael. Then on top of all of his God-given ability, you add to the fact he was trained by the legendary Stu Hart, and you've got yourself a true stud in Brian Pillman. He can do it here. I think he's got it. And it's up. He got the shoulder up. He's showing the heart of a warrior here tonight. He lands the strike with great accuracy. Brian Pillman reverses it. John, it's that relationship with Stu Hart you mentioned earlier that made Brian Pillman such a perfect member of the Hart Foundation when the group were formed in 1997. He's in full-on attack mode now. So great to be back in the hometown of WWE Hall of Famer Bruno San Martino. Makes the cover. And he kicks out. And he lives to fight again. What do you have to do to keep this guy down? Adding insult to potential injury there. Cole, you mentioned Brian Pillman's involvement with the Hart Foundation earlier. But let's not forget that he was also a member of one of the greatest factions of all time, the Four Horsemen. If an opponent exhibits a weakness for a specific move, some will return to utilizing that move as long as possible. Why not? If it's working, don't change it. He's showing no signs of letting up. Bang, right to the face. Going for the cover. Oh, look at that. He managed to get a shoulder up. 
Well, like they say, Cole, timing is everything. Well, it's going to take more than that to keep him down tonight. And there's the reversal from Brian Pillman. Oh, my gosh, big-time impact. Oh, man, how do you stand after an attack like this? Very nicely done. Uh, there's a few moves you're almost guaranteed to see each time X-Pac steps into the ring. And one of them, of course, is the Bronco Buster. Brian Pillman reverses it. Great counter. Quick thinking to avoid that. This is a beating inside and out. Yeah, external and internal. There's the pin. Ken is upon a kick out. And he escapes with a kick out. I don't know where he's finding the strength to stay in this one. Pillman with that veteran command of the ring. X-Pac has been in dominant factions and held all kinds of championship gold. He's also the first man to hold the WWE Light Heavyweight Championship and the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. We know what's coming here. Submission locked in, and this might be it. Oh man, this has gotta hurt. What diabolical things are going through that mind right now? When you get in control like this, you want to throw everything at your opponent. And that could be what we're seeing here. What's he going to do here? What's he going to do here? Brian Pillman scores with a tremendous move. Looking for all the glory here. Two. And it's up. He got the shoulder up. Wow. X-Pac is tenacious. Look out. Look out. This could X-Factor. X-Pac has delivered the decisive blow. I think X-Pac has this thing. He thinks he has it. One. Two. There's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. There was no love lost in that match. And look at the impact in these highlights. Look at this. This was a match. And here's some highlights. And here's just some of the action we saw during the... Here's your winner, x -Pod. Wow. Huge pinfall win here tonight. Talk about making your presence felt in a match. Wow, what a win. And that'll do it here for this one-on-one -on -one match. I hope you enjoyed it as much as this live crowd appears to have enjoyed it.